out there this is Jam3 Jones again here with another how-to video today I'm gonna teach you how to hollow table and what we're gonna do is load out my cutlets using the hollow table and I'll try to cover as much as I can about the hollow table uh, and its functionality by doing so so let's get to it all right here we go as you can see your ship list over here all you got to do to scroll through it is click over on the right side and drag up and down. So let's grab ourselves my cutlass, which is right here. There we go. Now we can see all the interactable parts in the cutlass. So everything from maneuvering thrusters to main thrusters to bigger maneuvering thrusters to guns, turrets, radar system, more guns, rockets, rocket pod holders, <coughs> shields everything you can think of. You can interact with all here. And if your ship currently supports, which is basically only the Aurora and the Grey Cat uh, little RV, you can change their paint colors. I'll show you how to do that real quick. Um, with my Aurora Legionnaire, we'll grab that over here. And you just grab the paint tab at the top and drag it. And then you grab a hold of the word paint and drag it into the paint slop on the bottom of the ship problem covered. Once I go walk over to my uh, Aurora, it'll show up uh, green. Anyways, back to the cutlass. We'll drag it in here, and what we need to do first, in my opinion, is get some weapons on this thing that work a little bit better. So what I'm going to run over here is, uh, we'll grab my... I need to take these off first. Take that off. Take that off. Just dragging them off of the ship and they'll go into the uh, weapon loadout. So there we go. Now we're void of all the weapons that we currently have. Need to get at least some size 2 gimbals. Uh, size 3 gimbals, there we go. So I'm going to grab these gimbal things. You pick these up at the rec store. I've got another video that covers the rec system. And. Have they? No, surely they didn't. Oh, I forgot any on my Hornet. Let's see. It seems as they did this uh, end of the Dragon Con Free Flyer or uh, something, it reset all the statuses of the ship. So let's go to the ship tab and go to my Hornet, and it should have a couple gimbal mounts I can strip off of it. Go to the weapons tab. Come on. Why you be so hard to grab? This one has one? No, this one has one though. Hey, gotcha. And then, gotcha. Alright, now let's go back to the ships tab and pull up our uh, cutlass. And there we go, some more size 3 gimbals. I just need one, really. There we go. Well, is there one already on it? There is one already on it. So, alright, let's scroll up here and find the tarantulas. Because tarantulas work very well with the cutlass. Just throw that there. And throw that there. Ta da! Did I knock off? Okay, no, there we go. Thought I actually bumped off the, uh, the gimbal mount. And at the top, I uh, personally prefer to use sawbucks on the turret because it gives you a wider spread system. And the reticles are so close together that it almost pretty much touches. So you have a little bit more lean way with how precise your uh, aiming has to be. And a cutlass, it allows you to move, maneuver a little bit more and have a little bit more giveaway. Alright, so there we go. We added our weapons to the ship. So now we're going to go to the ammo tab at the top. And go through here. And find the ammo that fits that weapon. And I want to say it's 40mm. And this is 35mm. So there we go. Grab that. 
and uh, most of your ballistic weapons have uh, two ammo boxes per weapon and just drag them over into the area oh there we go so the tarantulas are ammoed up now these require okay it doesn't even say what caliber wait no it doesn't say 40 millimeter okay and these are 24 so we'll have to keep scrolling uh well is, is that one supposed to go there okay uh, apparently the 200 okay these are 200 round 40 millimeter rounds okay uh, it's at 28 millimeter, and I'm like, I don't remember having a gun like that. Anyways, we're just drag, dragging the uh, ammo box in there. So now our um, our weapons are loaded up as far as uh, ballistic weapons. Let's let's switch out the missiles. So we're gonna go over here and scroll down until we find. You know, the Cutlass comes with Rattler 2 size 2 missiles. In my opinion, they're too slow, but man, do they do the damage when they hit. But they're too easy to avoid with the average ship. So I go with the Marksman 1, which is a size 1, and it doesn't deliver a massive damage, but it usually gets in the tax ship real quick. So we're just going to literally drag this over the top of some of the Rattlers. There we go. There we go. Now all we gotta do is we gotta throw a decent shield on this beast and we should be pretty loaded out. So let's drag over the shield section. And do I not have a decent shield? I guess I don't have a decent shield. Well anyways, this is a uh, an ink one. So basically all you do is you would grab your shield and drag it over the top of that right there. And then it swaps them out. Now, if you have a super smaller one, you might not be able to see it, so you may have to jiggle your ship up and down and it'll glitch the wall to be able to see it, so... And this works with every ship. A lot of the, um, a lot of them, you can't see where they are. So I'm just gonna replace it with... That right there. Well, it's actually easier if you can grab a hold of it like... And... There we go. And then drag this into here. There we go. Well... We're all loaded out, and considering I don't have any thrusters for the cutlass that I can swap out, and I don't have any power plants, which there's no real purpose in swapping out power plants that I know of currently, um, we're all pretty much done here. So we'll go ahead and exit this, and we'll see what the cutlass looks like. Man, those ballistic weapons are a lot nicer. More appealing than the laser weapons. But, anywho. That is how you do a basic loadout on a ship with or without rental equipment. It doesn't really matter. They all function the same. The only difference is the rental equipment is purple. So, thanks for watching, and I hope I helped. Have any more questions or suggestions, just drop them in the forums. Have a good one, guys.